Hey everybody, um, hope you're having a, a great Sunday, a great start to your Memorial Day weekend. Um, and thank you to all of our men and women in the armed forces. Um, thank you for ensuring that I live in a country that is free. Hey Alicia, hey Todd. And I just, uh, I just had a little something on my heart today that I wanted to share with you um, that uh, was from church this morning. Our choir sang um, Surely Goodness and Mercy this morning, which is based on Psalm 23. And so I, I just uh, just had something that I wanted to share with you from that. Um, this passage of scripture is one that we're probably all very familiar with. And so I just want to read it um, because I, I think it's just so important. This, this song, get this song in your heart. And it says, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. Does he restore your soul today? He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Um, so I, I just wanted to read that to you. And I, before I get to what I really want to share, I thought I would share something kind of comical with you. <laughs> I'm going to tell on myself a little bit. When I was a little kid, I grew up in church. I grew up under my papa's ministry. And so I'm going to, um, I'm going to say, uh, Psalm 23 and one, the way that my grandfather always said it. And maybe what I'm about to say will make sense. He would say, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. And then he goes through and reads all these good things, you know, that the Lord gives you. And I would sit there so confused. If, if the Lord has all of these good things in store for me, why wouldn't I want him? <laughs> and so as I got older, I realized there's actually a semicolon between those two statements. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. And so I just, I love that, you know, that I can look back and see that, you know, that always confused me, you know, why wouldn't I want this, this great shepherd, you know, but um, that's just something comical that, that I'll just throw in there. But as we were singing that song this morning, we got to um, verse four. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. And there's, there's a couple of ways you can look at that scripture. And so I just wanted to share what I was thinking about this morning. Um, thank you all for joining. Um, I just, it just really touched my heart this morning. And one thing that you can think about is, you know, walking through the valley of the shadow of death. That can be a physical death. And I remember when my uncle um, had his heart attack. He was having an ongoing heart attack. And that just means his heart was in a constant state of, of cardiac arrest. And he said that as he lied on that table and he actually died and they had to, to shock him back to life, he said he was in this tunnel and it was just a white tunnel and it was there was a bright light. But he just heard this scripture over and over and over again. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff that comfort me. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff that comfort me. And he said it was just so peaceful walking in this room. And, and he said he wasn't scared of death because of the peace that he felt and the scripture that he'd known since he was a child just kept playing over and over in his mind and just gave him that peace and that comfort. And I thought back over my life, um, you know, I, I, there have been two times in my life that I know that I was in the valley of the shadow of death in a physical sense. In 1993, when someone tried to break into my apartment a couple of weeks before I graduated from high, I mean, from college, um, I know that 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 was meant for me to perish. I, I just know that. And I know that God's um, had his ar angel army around my place that prevented that from happening. 
Um, two weeks later, somebody broke into my neighbor's apartment. It was a random act of violence, and those two people were murdered. And they, they never connected any dots. There was never any connection there. And so I know that was one time that I walked through the valley of the shadow of death, that God's hand of protection saved me. Another time was in 2007. I had a car wreck. I totaled my little convertible. Um, I wound up in the woods off Manchester Expressway and um, when I came walking out of the woods, this lady had pulled over and she got out of her car and she just said, ma'am, I, I just cannot even believe that you're walking away from this. She's like, I've already called 911. There's, you know, an ambulance on the way. And she's just like, I'm amazed you're walking away. So that was another time that I walked through the valley of the shadow of death. But, you know, I didn't have to fear the evil that was looming there. Um, you know, God's hand of protection just kept me. And so I have faced that. And I know so many of my friends, and it just breaks my heart to think about it, but so many of my friends right now are walking through that valley of the shadow of death. It's a physicalness. And just so many people are hurting and battling diseases. But I want you to know that God is with you. He's with you. And his rod and his staff will guide you and comfort you and be there for you in that valley of the shadow of death. You don't have to fear any evil as you're walking through there, for God is with you. And so that's one thing I wanted to share. But really what I was thinking about as we were singing that song wasn't so much that physical death, but I thought about times in my life when I have walked through the valley of the shadow of death, but it's it's been on a different level. Um, I walked through the death of my marriage. And, you know, if it hadn't been for the Lord walking through that valley of the shadow of death with me, I wouldn't have made it through those times. There were some dark days. There were days that, you know, I felt all alone, but, you know, God was with me. And I can hold to that promise in Psalm 23 and 4, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, thou art with me. I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. And there were many days through that time when when I was walking through those those days and that time in my life that I heavily depended on the Lord to get me through. And then there's been other times in my life when, you know, I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. It was it was death of dreams, maybe. Um, maybe, you know, the death of, of what I thought my life would look like. And it, it turned out totally different. But I found that in those moments, in those dark days, in that valley of death, in that shadow of, of dreams that maybe aren't coming to pass or, you know, maybe my life took a different turn, um, but it. It has been God leading me and directing me in ways that I didn't understand at the time that I thought was just, um, you know, disappointments. But it was actually God using those disappointments to take me in a different direction. And so I just want to encourage you today, you know, wherever you are in life, you know, if you're walking through that valley of the shadow of death, you don't have to fear the evil that's looming in the darkness you don't have to fear that. You can be encouraged today that God is with you. His rod and his staff, they will comfort you. They will guide you and you will be amazed in the days to come when you can look back on this day and say, you know, God, I see where you brought me through that valley of the shadow of death. And you, you gave me a song in my heart. You put a spring in my step and you just gave me light in the darkness. And so I just want to encourage you today. Um, I posted a, a link to um, a video where um, I think it's the Brooklyn Tabernacle. I can't even talk. The Brooklyn Tabernacle Choir. I think that's who it is that's singing this um, song. And I just hope you will just take a moment to listen to it and let the words of that song just flood your soul. And the very last um, verse in that says, surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. You know, I'm just so thankful for that. I'm thankful for God's strength. I'm thankful for his courage. I'm thankful that he's brought me through the valley of the shadow of death. Every time that I've been in that, that shadow of that death looming over, regardless of what it was, I'm thankful that his light gave me that light for the next step, that he gave me the strength to come out of that valley 
to reach the next mountain peak of my life so that I can proclaim his glory to, to anyone who will listen. And I just want to encourage you today. If you're walking through that valley of the shadow of death, hold to his unchanging hand. He will never let you down. His rod and his staff is going to comfort you all the way. And I just, I just pray that you will have a blessed Sunday that tomorrow as we celebrate Memorial Day, that you will take a moment to pray for all of the families of those who have lost loved ones that have fought for our freedom, that those who are continuing to serve our country, just say a quick prayer for them and just be mindful of those who maybe are, are mourning that day instead of celebrating and and i just pray that that you will have a great day that you will just hold to god's unchanging hand and let him lead you through that valley of the shadow of death y'all have a great sunday